Hi everyone, Senexoft here. This is my GK ATV 886 interface. It's an Android TV box with a DVB-T2 receiver. They also have a version with ATSC receiver for other markets. So today I will just focus on the DVB program. Okay, let's go to the settings first. The very first time you will go to the search settings, select your area, and they have a few countries. Actually, more than usual. I, I tested some other boxes, they only have four or five countries. This one is better. And after you select auto scan, and here it works fine. I'm connected to a roof antenna. I haven't tried an indoor antenna because normally it's not working in my location. So some other options is a PVR, interesting option is PVR configuration. It will automatically detect my hard drive and select one of the partition where it can record. If you want to do time shifting, it's here. So I can pause live TV and resume live TV. It seems to be working okay. So I uh, now I exit time shifting mode. And let's go back to the settings. Okay, the various options is exactly the same as HD 18T box I tested before. And you can select the aspect ratio, subtitle language, audio language, and that's about it. So once you are in the channel, you can also go in the bottom overlay menu and select the aspect ratio. Access the EPG. Again, this box is pretty good because it gets the EPG data properly. Even support Thai language. And if I want to record program, I select it, I can record it once, daily, weekly. There is also a mode setting, but only PVR is available. Then it's scheduled. You can check the schedule list with, by pressing the red button. Okay, I already had one other program scheduled before. And the uh, downside, it will not record in the background. The program will pop up in the foreground and you cannot do anything else while it's recording. Okay, so let's go to the list of TV. I will go to a HD channel. Amarin HD, Amarin TV HD. At some time you will write no signal, but actually it will play. Okay, you also have some audio options here, but they only have tie. Teletext and record. So let's record a short time. Okay, the interface is not ideal with the remote. So I'm using melee air mouse now. 
คุณผู้ชมคะพบกับรายการโดยที่ธุรกิจอย่างอาจารย์ไทยรัฐไทยสตูดิโอไทยค่ะสวัสดีค่ะโอเค I'm going to record a few seconds Let's make it 15 seconds And if you want to watch the recordings, you can go to Kodi. This is a Kodi 14.2 Magica edition. Again, I'm not sure why they changed. And you go to the recording device and in the directory TV record files. And you will find the programs. So it, it recorded just fine. Uh, yeah. One the one of the problem is that um, when you switch channels, sometimes it will not be smooth for a little while, maybe 10 seconds, 5 seconds, 15 seconds, depend on your luck. But otherwise, it seems to work okay most of the time. The interface is a little sluggish. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show about the DVB interface. There will also be a mobile app that allows you to use the box to watch on your Android tablet or phone to watch live TV on your Android tablet or phone, uh, but it doesn't seem to be available right now. All right. Okay. Bye-bye.